Well, today is September 11th, 2023. As always, we'll start with our disclaimer, go over our calls, make some predictions. This is my trading plan for tomorrow, which is September 12th. I won't be trading. I won't be trading all week, and I've had very little time to do analysis as well. So my analysis can certainly be wrong, and all trades you make should be made at your own risk. I might not have any videos the rest of this week. I'll have to see how much time I have. The only reason I'm making this one is because Norm Winsky shared his change in trend and dates, and I know people pay attention to those because of his track record. Why don't we start with that? If anybody wants to contact him, here's his contact information. He can tell you more about these things than I can. He, the old saying is, don't send for the bat boy when you want Babe Ruth, and he's Babe Ruth. So these are the dates he came up when he was last time on the show. PM is the afternoon, and AC is after the close. And as you can see, once again, he had a winning month. That's remarkable for anyone. That's particularly remarkable for a person trading an asset class for 95% of all people lose money. Green arrows like this one means he was right. He was right. Red arrows means he wasn't. And you can see for yourself he's right more often than he's wrong. You can see all these various things. A lot more green than there is red, if you ask me. And the yellow means there's no trade. These are change in trend dates, and if there's no trend, can't be a change in trend. Once again, two out of three winners. That's uh, for an asset class like commodities, I think that's kind of remarkable. If you need to contact him, you can get the information in just a minute. But here are the dates he has coming up. AC is after the close, and he has changes after the close on the 14th, 15th, 18th, 21st, and 22nd of this month. So I think it pays to pay attention to those dates. And if you trade commodities, those are the ones that should change around those dates, give it, a, give it a leeway for about a day. And if you need to contact him once again, here's his information. No charge to call him. He's a nice guy. Well, let's take a look at what we saw. Um, EJT early on said we trade under this level optionally, and we did. Gave a buy signal in the afternoon. We haven't gone high enough to satisfy it. I can't give you the exact price yet because it could change, but at the very least, it has to be over that high. Well, this got the normal pattern where there's an early low on the rally into the high, but this rally high was lower than this high, and that's not good if it's maintained. Now, we have a higher target. It doesn't have to be maintained. And we, but in order to keep the rally going, we should gap and promptly overtake today's high. And if we do that, all is forgiven. It's the normal standard standard pattern. We identified this yesterday as, as a change in, in trend. We still have higher highs and higher lows. But if we can't take this out early, we should trade lower regardless of whether we close lower or not. So your futures are down the last time I looked. So it doesn't mean we have to open down. We should still see higher prices if we get the normal pattern. But if we don't, then it's a negative pattern. Well, regardless of where we open tomorrow, you should see the early low. I had no time to watch the market today. I doubt I'll have much time to do any analysis that means anything this whole week. The only reason I'm posting at all is because I wanted to share Norm Linsky's change in trend dates. The MJT gave a buy signal. It hasn't traded high enough to satisfy it yet, but as I told you, the minimum isn't too far away, and it doesn't say we have to trade there immediately, but if we don't, we should take lower prices. Because we didn't trade over the early high, it's bearish, but if we get and promptly overtake the high tomorrow, that would negate that. Otherwise, regardless of how we close, we're going to see lower prices. If this rally is going to continue in the normal style, we should trade higher early on in a pattern which calls for an early low. This should go up before it hits the early low, and if that doesn't happen, it's negative. 
Tomorrow has the early low. Remember, I'm not playing with all my cards this whole week. I might not have any videos this week, but I'll try. And that's today's call.